The things you need to know to destroy a narcissist. I understand why you want to do this, and why not? They'd cause you so much pain. Even though I know this isn't about revenge, we'll discuss it in the video. Everyone, I genuinely hope that you're in good spirits today. Are you eager to baffle, bewilder, or maybe even conquer those challenges that lie ahead? I get it, the desire to overcome, to leave others astounded in your wake. It's a quest worth pursuing, though I must admit, it's no cakewalk. Let's dive in, shall we? It's about more than just words. It's an intricate dance of ideas, a mosaic of concepts that might seem as elusive as shadows on a moonless night. Trust me, there's a method to this madness, a grand tapestry of steps that interlace and interlock. Picture a puzzle with a thousand pieces, each one holding a tiny clue to your triumph. The road ahead is winding, with twists and turns that demand your unwavering attention. This is no endeavor for the faint of heart. But I believe in you. And I know you possess the inner strength to embark on this journey. It's when your heart and mind find harmony that the impossible becomes possible. So, are you ready to take the plunge and explore the depths of complexity that await? Now let's delve into the intricate art of handling a narcissist. It's crucial to underscore that advocating harm to another human being, regardless of their actions, remains a stance we don't endorse. After all, they too are individuals, and while opinions may differ on this matter, let's momentarily put that aside. Our overarching objective here isn't to dismantle them, but to exercise astute strategies in our interactions. The ultimate goal is to extricate them from our lives. When you've resolved to sever ties with someone, it necessitates a multi-dimensional distancing act, physically, emotionally, and energetically. Here's a comprehensive approach to effectively navigate the complex terrain of dealing with a narcissist. 1. Vanish. Initiate a policy of silence and sever all lines of communication. This gradual disconnection can erode the bonds that once tethered you. 2. Limit interaction. In scenarios involving shared responsibilities like children or joint assets, aim to minimize contact to the bare essentials. 3. Emotional disconnect. Recognize that narcissists feed on emotional bonds. They thrive on knowing your thoughts, feelings, and motivations. By withholding this information, you introduce an element of unpredictability. Narcissists are perpetually vigilant, scrutinizing your every gesture, word, and expression, hypersensitive to these cues. Depriving them of these cues renders you inscrutable. In effect, by severing the emotional link, you become an enigma, resting control from their grasp and shielding yourself from manipulation. When your presence and communication are conspicuously absent, it baffles them. They're left to speculate about your actions and motivations. Removing this connection unsettles them profoundly, for narcissists subsist on validation. To elicit validation from someone, they master the art of manipulation as it's seldom freely offered. Initially, they might succeed, but over time, the quest for validation compels them to employ more Machiavellian methods. If you're seeking validation from a narcissist, it entails engaging in tactics like gaslighting, essentially coercing them into providing it against their will. This is why gaslighting is their weapon of choice, a means to bend your will and compel your compliance. Consider the sensation of acting against your true self, against your own volition. Initially, you might suppress your authentic feelings, but eventually, an awareness dawns that something is awry. This awakening occurs when the narcissist exerts their will, coercing you into submission. For narcissists, being denied these psychological nourishments feels profoundly destructive. They crave and depend on these validations, with their very essence hinging on obtaining them from you or others. Failure to secure it leaves them feeling unseen and ignored. This is a potent trigger stemming from formative experiences where caregivers withheld attention for noncompliance. In the intricate dance with a narcissist, understanding these dynamics becomes your shield against their manipulations. Remember, the path to emancipation lies in detachment, in reclaiming your autonomy, and in defying their mastery over your emotions. 
The behavior of narcissists is often strikingly similar. When you refuse to comply with their demands, they may respond by either ignoring you or subjecting you to punishment. This conduct often stems from their own childhood experiences, where such treatment was the norm and no one challenged its wrongness. Consequently, they perpetuate this behavior, skillfully manipulating others to fulfill their needs. Non-compliance with their wishes causes them distress, as it contradicts their deeply ingrained behavioral patterns. You might assume that with a plethora of people surrounding them, they could seek validation elsewhere. However, what if it's specifically your validation, love, and attention that they crave? Perhaps you are the one they genuinely need, and everyone else is secondary. Consequently, they fixate on you because your validation elevates their sense of self-worth and fulfills an essential need. When you cease to provide this validation or choose to ignore them, it shatters their self-esteem. The more people validate them, the more empowered and self-assured they become. It's akin to a numbers game for them. If your formative years were marked by neglect and a sense of insignificance, something within you changes. Now they relentlessly seek validation from every conceivable source, from as many people as possible, as it validates their existence and reinforces their worth. Depriving them of this validation is utterly devastating. Even if just one person withdraws it, it serves as a painful reminder of their troubled upbringing, provoking profound feelings of inadequacy. They strive to distance themselves from this painful past, employing tactics like concealment, gaslighting, and projection to safeguard their carefully constructed image. Ultimately, their behavior revolves around a ceaseless quest to feel important and acknowledged. This is the driving force behind their actions. To counter a narcissist, you don't need to stoop to their level. You must outsmart them. Withdraw the very thing they crave, your attention and focus. And in doing so, weaken their control, sow confusion, and regain your own sense of power. However, it's essential to recognize that not everyone can do this immediately. You must reach a point where this individual no longer holds emotional and psychological sway over you. Redirect your energy away from them to move forward in your life. Remaining fixated on their needs and desires keeps you trapped in a perpetual cycle. Your life should encompass much more than concern for their demands. Thank you for tuning in, and I trust this video will assist you on your personal journey. Farewell.